Welcome back to the Banger Bar for another episode of Overkill Reviews. This week, we're taking on Trumpeting Ecstasy, the new album from Full of Hell, out today on Profound Lore Records. They formed in 2009 as a bastard son of all kinds of extreme music, including grindcore, hardcore, death metal, and noise. Throughout their career, they've released plenty of splits, most recently with Nails, previously with Code Orange, when they were still kids. This is their third full length. Well, fifth, if you count their collaborations with The Body and Mersbau, that they released in the wait since 2013's Rudiments of Mutilation. Let's see how they've grown in the past four years. First up, I'm gonna talk about The Cosmic Vein, which starts out with some brute force. There's just so much going on in that opening 20 seconds, from that crushing intro, to the TV static noise, to the discordance axis kind of grindcore part. When Full of Hell started, their hardcore influence was much more evident than it is now. However, it's most prevalent in this song. With hardcore parts used sparingly, the band are definitely still a death grind band, just with the core part a little bit more highlighted when it comes up. Contrasting that hardcore part, check out this intricate tapping guitar transition. That part almost feels like a building demolition, with the tapping constructing something, and the black metal shrieks and trem picks just blowing the damn thing up. They utilize the same notes to close out the song. Stripped down to just the bass notes, it really accentuates the bizarre darkness of this passage. Hello darkness, my old friend. Next up, we have Crawling Back to God, which starts out with a mutated voice reading a couple lines from the Exorcist novel. The opening riff is reminiscent of Morbid Angel's Immortal Rites in Feel, which is to say, it's fucking awesome. The chugging back and forth that follows feels like a tug of war over an ominous pit. The part with the double bass sounds like a swarm of bees, used more for effect than anything else. The song ends with that death metal riff coming back but it sounds even more sinister with vocals on top. It was a really good decision to layer a couple of vocal tracks here, especially when the song ends and they continue. It just really highlights Dylan Walker's ability as one of the genre's best vocalists. Next up, we've got the title track, Trumpeting Ecstasy. And in contrast of what you might expect, it is not at all representative of the rest of the album. This is the lullaby of your nightmares. The lurching soundscapes are painted over by the haunting vocals of Nicole Dollinganger which sounds like they're sung by a cute little doll. And dolls are fucking creepy. <laughs> but it doesn't stay that way the whole time. The song returns to Dollinganger's nightmarish singing, but becomes even more uninviting as feedback builds and builds piercing our eardrums. Yeah. 
That ending sounds like it could be the conclusion of the album, slowly backing out, but it's not. Unlike that song, the album's actual conclusion starts out blazing. As that riff repeats and repeats, it becomes more and more hypnotic, slowly mesmerizing you. Full of Hell break that trance with grunts of the album title. How sick are those quick blast beats? The answer, very fucking sick. Later on, they slow things down in a plodding heavy kind of way. It's downright menacing. That part drones on and on, only adding to its oppressive quality as it weighs you down. album ends with building travel drums, which, as the guitar fades out, is reduced to just thundering percussion, which is all too appropriate for this lightning fast album. Since their beginning, Full of Hell have been one of the most exciting bands in extreme music, specifically because they avoid being slotted into any one genre. And as they've gone on, the band has gotten more and more metal as their logo got more and more gnarled. Each band member excels at their respective instruments, and when they come together, it's truly special. And the world is noticing. Last year's Split With Nails debuted at number two on the Billboard 100 Top Singles Charts, which is unprecedented for bands this extreme. This time around, it seems the noise influences are a little bit more subtle, and at times, I wish they were more overt. That being said, what's truly impressive is that the band has maintained their own signature sound, something that seems increasingly difficult in metal or music in general. Though it's only the beginning of May, Trumpeting Ecstasy will surely go down as one of the year's best releases, and Full of Hell will continue their reign as one of heavy music's most exciting bands. For that, I'm giving the album four and a half skulls out of five on Overkill Reviews. And before I go, I just want to invite you to check out my metal interviews over on Aggressive Tendencies, 